You are looking at the eye of a flat neck chameleon. This beautiful little girl is not moving much because she has metabolic bone disease. Which is the short term for a longer term, which I will not bore you with at this time. <laughs> anyway, um, back up now. Here she is in all her splendor. Um, it is now Wednesday afternoon, today's surgery day, and this girl needed to be seen, so of course we make time. Um, as you tell, she is at the I Hate Gravity stance. Um, sitting very, very low. Her x rays show that she has no broken bones at this point in time, which is actually pretty lucky for her species and the disease process. And mom even says she has fallen off her high perch several times, and no broken bones is a plus. The bad news is she's also an egg layer, and as of October, she laid 30 eggs, and right now there's probably about 15 to 20 that are still inside of here. Um, because of her low calcium status, Chances are these could be some uh, post ovulatory eggs, but we cannot tell because they're not calcified on the x-rays. Um, I will try to add those x-rays to this as well, um, depending on how much time I have. But anyway, so this is what she looks like as of now. Mom's gonna go ahead and fix all the husbandry. We're going to uh, take her off the mealworms and superworms, get her back on some crickets. We're going to preload them, both with the uh, calcium, phosphorus, cricket water, and the calcium phosphorus cricket food and we're going to start feeding the cricket something a little bit more nutritious for them and high in calcium and phosphorus like collard greens and when we're going to lower the light as well and hopefully increase her heat the good news is because she has no broken bones we're going to uh just take all the cage furniture out and send her back just like this and chances are within two or three weeks she may be walking around but don't get cocky <laughs> mom's laughing <laughs> um cockiness is bad but anyway, so uh, this is what she looks like now. She is very pretty, very alert. Um, we just gave her a dose of dewormer because I do not feel like breaking a pelvis or any bones while acquiring a fecal. So uh, this is this is how we're going to end for the afternoon. Staring at a lizard looking around. Ha! Ah, don't look at me. They send your screen. Mom! She's looking at me again! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't get paid for this part. All right, later. <laughs>
So this is how this happens. This guy actually had the right light and had the right heat, but to complicate her disease process, she actually had been gravid and laid several eggs back in October. Um, and as you can see on the x-rays uh, earlier, you can actually see some small round areas um, of it could be post-ovulatory eggs without the calcium um, on them because mom's using her own or doesn't have enough, or it's pre-ovulatory, which means they're not calcified yet. But mama's body is still trying to make that work. But because she is gravid, that's actually complicating her process altogether. So it's never, when it comes to metabol metabolic bone disease or environmental, nutritional, secondary hyperparathyroidism, it's never an easy or a simple case, but it's usually something that husbandry has caused and, you know, statistically speaking. So anyway, that's enough of my rambling. I hope this explains it to somebody and later.